All right, today I'm going to just talk really quick about some different screencast programs you can use in Linux and kind of their advantages and disadvantages. So to start off, we will uh, look at Istanbul Desktop Session Recorder. Um, I kind of like this one. It's really nice. I mean, it just shows up right here, so you don't have to worry about too much. Uh, not a lot of options, but uh, it actually works pretty well. It's pretty straightforward. The one major drawback I see with this program is it records in Og Vorbis, which I think is great, but if you want to upload to YouTube, YouTube seems to have some problems with Og Vorbis. Um, I've had it work in the past, but usually it does not work uploading to YouTube. So the second one will go to Desktop Recorder. Uh, this one is Record My Desktop. And um, both of these programs are really easy to install through Synaptic. Um, this one gives you a little bit more options, um, but still you, you can't really choose which uh, format you want to save the video as and this defaults to Og Vorbis as well so while this has a few pretty good options um, if you want to upload to YouTube it might prove to be difficult for you uh, the next one we'll take a look at is XVidCap uh, I actually really really like this one uh, this one seems to give you the most options out of any of the screen casting programs I've seen for Linux. Uh, and this one actually lets you choose your video format, which I think is fantastic. It does a great job recording. The one huge drawback with XVidCap is it has a major problem with audio. Uh, you can get it to work but it is not easy. I think I've got the audio to work once before, but yesterday I spent like 30 minutes to an hour just trying to get it to work. Never did. Finally gave up on this program. But, um, you know, if you want to do a screencasting program and don't need audio, XVidCap I think is the way to go. It gives you the most options. It's easy to use. You know, it lets you select your screen size, which is kind of nice. Um, so there's XVidCap again. Audio is hard to work. Ho hopefully they will update that so it's a lot easier. And lastly, I will show you the program I am currently using for this screencast. Uh, it's called Kazam. Uh, Kazam, again, it's just very simple. Um, not much to it, but the reason I like it is because it saves in the .mkv format, which YouTube seems to like a lot more than the Og Vorbis format for video. Um, one drawback of Kazam is it's a bit harder to install. Uh, it's not on the app repository, so you have to install it through PPA, which isn't too bad. But I tried doing it yesterday and installing the stable version and it didn't work. So I had to do the beta version for that to work. But um, Kazam, very simple, does a good job. Again, that's the one I'm using just because it works. So there you have it.